Hello friends and welcome to Unbound Learners Pre-K. My name is Nina. What's your name? It's so nice to meet you. Let's sing our good morning song together. We're going to stretch our arms out like airplane wings. Fly to this side. Fly to the other side. Fly back to the middle. And now take your airplane wings into a big circle out in front of you like this. Stretch up over your head. Let's stretch to one side and over to the other side. One more time up at the top and now it's time to sing. If you know the words to this song, you can sing along with me. Good morning, dear earth. Good morning, dear sun. Good morning, dear rocks and flowers, everyone. Good morning, dear beast and birds in the trees. Good morning to you and good morning to me. Good morning, friends, and happy Monday. I hope that you all had a wonderful weekend. Before we get started on the calendar and weather chart, we have a few things that we need to do quickly. Number one, let's turn on our listening ears. The next thing that we need to do is put on our thinking hats. Hmm, mine is over here. I'm going to put it on top of my head. Today my thinking hat has a ribbon underneath my chin, so I'm going to tie it up into a bow. And the third and final thing that we need to do is warm up our hearts. Will you show me how to do that? You're right. Boom, 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 boom. And now we're ready to get started with circle time. Let's go over the date first. Here's the month right up at the top. Do you know what the month is? August, that's right. The month is August. Today is August 16th. So let's move the chip over from the number 13, that was the last time that we met, over to the number 14, 15, and I'll put it right on top of the number 16 because today is August 16th, and right up here we have the year. You can say that it's 2021, but you can also say that the year is 2021. Now it's time to count how many days we've had so far in the month of August. So take out your counting fingers. We'll warm them up to stretch them out. And let's start up at the top with the number one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. We've had sixteen days so far in the month of August. Now let's hold up seven fingers like this for the seven days of the week song. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And now if I go down to the bottom of the chart, we can go over the days together. So listen carefully for the sound that the day starts with. And if you know what the day is, you can say it with me. Yesterday was s. Sunday, the last day of the weekend. So that means that today is M. Monday, the first day of the weekday. And tomorrow will be T. Tuesday. But let's sing today is Monday together. Are you ready? Today is Monday, today is Monday, today is Monday, all day long. Today is Monday, today is Monday, today is Monday, all day long. Now let's go back up to the top of the chart and let's go over the season. Do you know what the season is? Summer! That's right, friends. It's still summertime for a few more weeks. The other day I was outside and I noticed something. Even though it's still summertime, a few of the maple trees in my yard have started to change color leaves. 
they changed from green to red. Now usually that doesn't happen until the fall, but it's still summertime and a few of the leaves are starting to change color in my yard. Let's go down to the bottom of the chart and sing the weather song together, and then we can talk about what we see outside of our window. What's the weather? What's the weather? Can you tell? Can you tell? Is the sun shining? Is the rain falling? Can you tell? Can you tell? Today where I live, it's mostly cloudy outside, but I do see the sun shining a little bit. So that's why on my picture, I have a picture of the clouds in the sun. My temperature chart is on orange because today it's warm outside. Warm and mostly cloudy. What about you friends? What do you see outside of your window today? Thanks for sharing the weather with me. Now let's move on to the letter, the number, and the sign of the week. Because today is Monday, we have a new letter to talk about. This uppercase letter makes two sounds. The first sound is a short sound that goes like this. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Can you make that sound? And the next sound is a long sound that sounds like this. Oh. Can you make the long sound? That's right. This is an uppercase O. O says ah or O. Oh. Now it's time to guess what's inside of the letter box. So today I have something inside of this box that starts with the letter O. It also makes the long sound O. Oh. Here's your first clue. This is a type of a grain. Some people eat this for breakfast, and you can also make granola with it. What could it be? Hmm, let's take a look and see. Inside of this glass, I have some oats. So oats are a type of a grain, and some people eat oatmeal for breakfast. I like to use the oats and make granola. Oatmeal starts with the letter, O, O. This is how you write in uppercase, ah, O. One more time. And here is the number of the week. Friends, we have a double digit number right here. The first number is the number one. The second number is the number two, which makes the number 12. This is the double digit number 12. Now let's count to the number 12 together using the large bead frame. This week we're going to count to the number 12 using the large bead frame. In order to count to 12, we need two units, one, two, and one ten. 12. And let's take a peek inside of this box and see what we have to count today. Wow, I have a bunch of blades of grass. As I count these, I'm going to line them up across the top of the box so that we can count them together. Will you count with me? One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and one more makes twelve. So when I look at these blades of grass, I want to find the shortest blade, which is right over here. Here's the shortest blade of grass. And now I want to find the opposite. So the opposite of the shortest would be the tallest. And it looks like this one is the tallest. We have the shortest blade of grass and the tallest blade of grass. All together, we counted 12 blades of grass. 
So we learned a new letter of the week and a new number of the week. That means that it's time to learn a new sign of the week. This week, I'm going to show you how to say paint in sign language. Remember friends, sign language is a language that uses hand gestures and facial expressions to communicate instead of speaking words out loud. So in order to say paint in sign language, you're going to need both of your hands. You're going to put one of your hands out in front like this, and your other hand, you're going to move up and down, almost like a paintbrush. Paint. This week, we're going to continue our unit on creative exploration. Music is one form of art, and we learned about that last week. This week, we are going to be busy working with process art. Process art is so great because it allows us to experiment and problem solve using all kinds of materials. But the most important thing to remember about process art is that there is no right or wrong way to do it. So over the next few weeks, I will introduce different materials to you, but you have the ability to create whatever you choose. Creating art can be a way to relax our bodies because we are focused on something. A few weeks ago, we used bubbles as part of a mindful toolkit. Today, we're going to take the bubbles out and add some color for a very calming activity. Let's go. For today's work, you're going to need a piece of paper, a bubble wand, and some small containers filled with bubble solution. So I provided a link below to my favorite easy homemade bubble solution. And then in each container, I added some different color food coloring. So I have green bubble solution, red bubble solution, and blue bubble solution. And I'm going to dip my wand into the red bubble solution and just start to blow bubbles over my piece of paper like this. Wow, look at that. Let's try it with some blue. Ooh, that bubble popped and it made a nice color right there, a blue circle. So I recommend before you dip your wand into a new color, just rinsing it off in some water first. Or if you have multiple bubble wands, you can do that instead. Let's try some green. That one popped and made a green circle. Some more green bubbles right here. I'm going to rinse off the wand and let's try some more red. That looks nice. So I noticed that not only does the bubble itself create a little painting, but when I blow the bubble solution, it sprays a little bit and adds a little drop of color as well. Let's get back to circle time. Welcome back to circle time, friends. Do you have a favorite color that you like to use when you're creating art? My favorite color to use is green because it reminds me of the summertime. Thanks for learning with me today. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel, give my video a thumbs up, and be sure to find me on OutSchool for my live and interactive summertime classes. You can also support my channel by checking out my Patreon page and gain access to bonus features for your child. We have one more song to sing before we go. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. I'll see you next time. Have a great day, everyone, and I'll see you tomorrow.